Hey, hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Southside Beer Reviews. Today, I got a beer of the latest Hot Butcher. Uh, Hot Butcher for the world, excuse me. Uh, it is called Bug House Square. Go look at that can there. Now, Hot Butcher has just exploded, like, in the last year. It's, it's just an unbelievable. Um, all their stuff, it's again, sells out pretty quickly. You gotta go the day it gets released in a store for the, usually. Uh, very, every once in a while they have a bigger um, delivery, but it's very rare that they have a, you gotta get there that day. <laughs> It'll sell out that day for sure. Um, and there's a good reason why. I mean, their beers are extremely solid. Uh, this one is a double IPA, 7.5% uh, by volume. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a go. Got my uh, Hot Butcher beers, uh, Chicago Bears themed glass right here. Orange specks with navy blue writing. All right, here we go. Let's give that a good pour. I mm, like getting a, uh, I like when we can get a little bit of that aroma before, uh, before you even really put it up there. You can smell it as you're pouring, it's very nice. Uh, so this one is pretty loaded. Uh, it has Citra, Mosaic, Simcoe, and Nelson Sauvin Hot. So there's quite a bit going on here. And for the notes, the tasting notes are ripe fruit, zesty citrus, and intense tropical. So that is going to be interesting. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. You can smell the citrus and the chop. Oh, yeah. It smells orangey. Very orangey. Cool. Cheers. Mmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh yeah. You get that uh you get that citrus right away. Uh zest, zesty citrus. Yeah, it's like a little different it's a little different than like a normal citrus. Um what was the other one? A ripe fruit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's where that that's where that orange comes in. You do taste that you taste the orange. Mmm. That's pretty good. Um it's not the, uh, I, don't, I don't really taste any of the uh, intense tropical. Uh, I'm not really getting any of that kind of notes from it, but um, but, every, but yeah, but I definitely get the citrus and the uh, the ripe fruit. Uh, so, I mean, Hot Butcher does a lot, they've been doing a lot of these like double IPAs uh, all summer, pretty much has been these and all of them are solid. All of them are, are very, very good. Uh, and then there, of course, as always, you know, there's some better than others. There's some where it's like, oh yeah, that was good, but you know, I had a couple, I'm good now, I don't need any more. And then there's others where I'm like, I wish I'd have picked up another four pack. Um, this one is one. This one, I'd say, yeah, it's good. I'm glad I. I'm glad I got it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely glad I have it. Um, again, like I said, when it comes to hot butcher, I want to. I, I. I really want to try all everything that they have to offer. Um, but uh, but this one's just you know it's it's good. It's good. It's nothing crazy. Nothing special. Um, but uh, yeah. I mean, if you can find your, get your hands on it, check it out. Um, if you're a fan of, a fan of double IPAs, you know, get the haze, the juicy, the juicy going. This is definitely juicy. I, uh, yeah, I will say that this, um, yeah, just a little juicier than others for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, but it's pretty good. Uh, so like I said, there's gonna be, I can, I can tell you right now, there's gonna be a plenty of hot butcher beers coming up. Uh, we, I even have some backlog that I think I. Uh, I think we'll do a few reviews on for sure as well. So thank you for checking us out. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll check you again soon.